really excited. The company is giving away a hundred, actually 200 tickets to 100 people. So it would be a juice plus live, you know, in person and you would get to bring a person. And so all you have to do to get in the drawing for the hundred names drawn is to you, you find on Instagram juice plus insights. And there's a post there. First you like or follow juice plus insights, and then you like the post and then you tag three people in it and that will get you into the drawing. So even if you have a ticket, that the, the free ticket isn't transferable, but if you've already bought one, I think that one you could transfer, right? So anyway, that's awesome. More people, more eyeballs, right? We just want to get this information into more people's hands so that they can make the best decisions for themselves and their families. And there's no better way to build vision than JP Live. So um, with that, let's just jump into this. Thank you, Sandy. I want to welcome everybody tonight to the team call. We're super excited for a really special guest. Um, Stacy Whitmer is our my dear friend, I would say one of my closest friends. And I have had the pleasure and the distinct honor of watching her grow through her seasons in her business over the last, I don't know, Stacey, yeah, been five years, six years, something like that. Um, and we've really gotten to know each other on a personal level. And I've got to say, you know, one of the things that I really respect about leaders so much is when they can come into this business and work through an entrepreneurial experience while doing life. And Stacy is one of those people who has done a lot of life. She is a division one athlete. She's married to a division one athlete who, who played two sports. <laughs> division one. She's got two very athletic boys, a super busy life. She's a coach on and off the field. She's got a background in pharmaceutical sales from Pfizer. I mean, you're talking the best of the best of the best in terms of skill set. And she happens to gift us. She's one of the most generous leaders that we have in the company. And I just want to thank you for that, Stacey, because a lot of that, I don't know if people really realize how much time goes into caring and serving others like you do, but you are one of the most generous people that we have. And I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for blessing us because your wisdom touches all of us and it makes us all better. And as we know, you know, a rising tide lifts all boats. And so together, I'm hoping tonight that you'll be able to listen, take notes, ask questions at the end if there's some time and really just learn, you know, like soak this in because when you have a world-class trainer like this on an intimate call, like we do, that's a gift in itself. So thank you for showing up for yourself tonight. And thank you for showing up for her and Stacy. I'm going to turn it over to you. Well, thank you so much, Melissa. I, one of the greatest gifts that our business can allow us is to meet people like Melissa and to form a bond that is, that is just unbreakable. You know, we can be brutally honest with each other on all fronts and we do it with like, we know how important the other person's perspective is. We understand how important we are to each other. So we do it with heart, um, with just a helper's heart. So, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to just talk a little bit about, I'm going to share a story with you. And then I'm going to talk about some, uh, some things that I think are really important in this day and age right now. Um, we're going to talk about getting back to basics. So like Melissa said, I'm Stacey Wimmer, born and raised in Long Island, New York. If you can't tell by my accent, it's clearly there. And I was an athlete growing up and I thought I was healthy until I wasn't. See, I'm going to talk a lot tonight, guys, about your until moments. I call them your until moments, right? We are healthy until we're not until we get a diagnosis or we get blood work back and something's wrong. We are happy until we're not, until something's heavy, until something's hard. And we realize, have we been settling for fine? Or, and is there more out there? You know, I will tell you that growing up as an athlete, um, I was an overachiever. It's just who I was innately. And through college, I was, you know, I got a full ride, a full gymnastic scholarship to University of Maryland, where I met my husband there. And together we were this just athletic force. And I'll tell you that I looked very healthy. I was 9% body fat. I was a gymnast. I was in a leotard. I needed to look the part and I did. 
but I would train for four, four to six hours and then go eat an entire Chipotle burrito and TCBY, a white chocolate mousse, like, like swivel or so, like swirl with chocolate chip cookie dough. Like I would eat all of that after a four to six hour practice. So what was I doing? Right. I was, I was burning all these calories, but I wasn't necessarily healthy. I looked, I was physically fit. I wasn't nutritionally fit, but I didn't know any better. I truly didn't know any better until, you know, my husband and I, my husband is incredible shape again, looks the part, but we weren't eating well. And, you know, I think that we so take for granted the importance of nutrition in our world, period. We don't worry about it until we have to. And I think that this is something that I'm so focused on in this season of my life is being proactive in my life, being proactive in my health, not being reactive. Because my, one of our until moments was when I had my firstborn at four months old, I gave him rice cereal. And when I gave him rice cereal for the very first time about night, it was like, it was almost 90 minutes. It was like almost, it was about 90 minutes after I given it to him for the first time, he started vomiting so profusely that he almost went into shock and we almost lost him. That was at four months old from rice cereal. His body could not break down wheat, rice, oat grain, nothing. So I had to learn to make everything from scratch. He had a very rare allergies, allergy called F pies, food protein induced enterocolitis syndrome. It just means that his body didn't understand what we were feeding it and had to make everything from scratch. So we were at that point, we had to pivot and we had to change our lives with food because my son's life depended on it. So then all of a sudden I became obsessed with food, but I was in a corporate career that was fine. See, I call fine the F word, right? Fine in my world is the F word because it means that you are settled for where you are, but you're not happy. It means that no one is going to have expectations of you higher than this because you're kind of just settled here. And if you drop below fine, nobody cares either. You're kind of flying under the radar. That is what I consider fine. So when I was working in this nine to five in this corporate world, I was fine but I wasn't fulfilled. I wasn't happy. And now here our lives changed with food. I became obsessed with food. I started loving the power and the impact of what food was doing for my body and for my family's body. But I had a career that was the opposite of that. See, I worked in corporate America for 11 years. I worked my way up that corporate ladder. I crushed it. And I was fine doing that for a very long time. Actually, I was happy. I was happy doing that until I had my first child. And then that became fine because I wanted to be home with my kids. I fell in love with the power of food. Medicine has a time and place. I'm never going to tell you that it doesn't. But in our world, it has too much time and too much place. And we can change that with what we put at the end of our fork. And we don't treat that serious enough. So the first half of my corporate career, I thought this is what I was supposed to do when I grew up, right? I had a, I had a great uh, degree in biology and kinesiology. I had a great career. This was my, supposed to be my life. But until my, ch- my, my oldest had this allergy, I didn't recognize that I was so, so, so looking for something more. This is one of those until moments. I thought I was happy until I realized I wanted something more. And you're going to see these until moments kind of trickle through the story that I'm going to share with you. So, you know, my first, my oldest has this issue and now we've had to pivot with food and I become obsessed with food. My second child was born like 18 minutes later and I decided that I wanted to stay home with my kids because I was paying my nanny more than my mortgage to raise them. I'm going to repeat that. I want you to understand the impact of that. I was paying my nanny more. I live in New York. Okay. I was paying my nanny more than my mortgage to raise my children. If that works for you own it. And that's fantastic. But for me at that point in my life, I, I was broken. I I was at a place where I wanted to, I didn't want to be there anymore, but I was there for my income, not for my impact because my impact wasn't being had anywhere. So here's what happened. 
I get downsized with that company because sometimes in corporate America, you're a number, but that was the best day of my life because 10 days after that, I learned about the Juice Plus products and the Juice Plus business. And I'm going to tell you why I'm telling you this part of my story, because there's a lot of parts to my story. Melissa knows all the parts to my story, but I'm telling you this part of my story because I, this is the part that I want us to get back to. When I first, and I just gave myself chills, like thinking about when I first said yes to this business, I'll never forget this day. So I, it was 10 days after I was downsized and I'll never forget this too, actually. I was downsized on a Wednesday. On Sunday, I was at church and our pastor, we had a guest pastor. It was a man. I have a female pastor, but it was a guest pastor, this man. And he was talking about open doors. God opens up doors all the time, every single day. But we are always so busy not paying attention to the opportunities and to the things in front of us that sometimes we can miss it. And I remember going to bed that night thinking, God, listen, <laughs> whatever door you're about to open, I, I am asking that it's like a double wide door. Maybe there's like lights or bells or something. I just need to know that the door that you're going to open for me is going to be such an obvious walkthrough that I'm not going to miss it. I, and I, I literally remember this like it was yesterday, like laying in my bed, praying about this, put bells and whistles on this door, God, because I'm going to need that kind of sign. That was Sunday, Tuesday. I was invited to a friend's wine and wellness event where, I, and then that Friday I learned about the juice plus products and the juice plus business, but listen to what I just said. No one else knew that I was downsized from my company. Nobody. Everyone thought that I had this crazy career with all, you know, I, I had a tremendous income and I was in custom made suits and heels and all these things. So this person that invited me did not judge me, did not judge me thinking she doesn't need this. She's got it all. She's got the career. She's got that, this, she's got, they didn't judge me for who I was. They invited me anyway. See, sometimes I find that we can invite people who we think need this. We can sometimes invite people who we think we want to try to help by offering this to them. Yes, we absolutely want to do that. We want to invite all the people. But what about the people that are crushing it? What about the people that are thriving and are just blowing up life in every single category? Because sometimes those people, hi, I was one of those people. Sometimes those people might have gotten downsized 10 days earlier. Some of those people might be fine in their career. Some of those people might be happy doing what they're doing, but searching for community, searching for purpose, searching for passion, searching to make more of an impact, not just an income. So it's not just the people that we want to help. It's the people that, that are thriving every single, in every single way so that we can invite all the people in. Do not judge in any category. Do not judge. And I'm grateful that this person did not judge me because when I said yes to this business, I was all in. So when I said yes, I owned my yes from day one. I did not, there, I, saw, I learned about the product. I learned about the business and here's what I saw. I came from pharma, so I understood research, right? So before I said yes to this product or this business, I literally read, I know I'm such a tool, but I love science. And I read every single research article. At that point, there were 23, seven years ago, there were 23 research articles. And I read every single one of them. Because I needed to know, I don't care about your opinion. I don't care what you're telling me. What is this doing in my body? I don't want to Google search it because Google's going to have nothing good because Google someone's opinion. What is this doing when I put it in my body? If I believe in this, I can share it with the world. And I did. That's exactly what happened. I came from research and understand that this research was different. The research that I came from, some of it was meddled with, saying it nicely. Um, some of it was altered. Some of it was, it wasn't what it appeared to be. But Juice Plus research, third party 
double blind, placebo controlled. I mean, we are talking the highest level of research and unbiased research that I've seen. And I was in that world for 11 years. So yes, once I recognized what this was going to do in my body, I knew I needed to share it with the world. So before I even go further, I want to just make sure this is clear. The product that we get to share that you said yes to is the most clinically researched nutritional product on the planet. I hope that you don't just post on social media and hope that people are watching. I hope that you pick up the phone and that you talk to people every single day about the power and the impact that this product can have. Because it is not just a post and pray kind of thing. It is a loud and proud kind of thing. Nikki Cotton, we are on the same page. Look at you. I like said that and looked down and she just wrote that. Um, it is that kind of thing. It is an opportunity for you to share something that is unmatched. This is not a quick fix. This is not just something else. This is the Juice Plus products. There's nothing else on the planet like it. Be proud of that. And it's not just a post and hope. You want to post it? Fine. Knock yourself out. But there's a lot more that needs to go into this. So when I owned my yes, when I first said yes to this product and to this business, I was in it. I literally looked at the compensation plan and said, okay, I need five sales coordinators. I don't even know what that looks like, but I'm going to figure it out. And in two years I hit an MD, but understand why I was ignorance on fire. I knew nothing. I just knew it was fruits and vegetables in a capsule. It wasn't complicated and I needed to tell the world. So I did. What I find is sometimes when we know too much, we, we paralyze ourselves. We overthink it. I was on the baseball field tonight, just tonight. And there was a parent sitting uh, next to me and they were like, Hey, we were at practice the other night, watching your older son hit, uh, hit baseballs, like doing batting practice. And he made, he made this comment, like he was hitting seeds. Like he was crushing the ball. If he just wouldn't think so much during a game, he's going to own that field every day of the week. Well, what happens when you're at practice, you're out there, you're doing it. You're, you're happy. It's easy. The second you say yes to this business, the second we learn too much, the second we put too much knowledge in this brain, it's like, wait, now I care about what people are going to think. Now expectations have changed. So it shuts us down. Let's flip that switch. Let's get back to basics. All you need to know is that this is the most clinically researched nutritional product on the planet. You need to know that we have an obligation to share this with people because your story matters. You have the ability to change someone else's story with our product and our business, but you have to go share it. This is not just something that is going to happen by posting and praying. This is something that's going to happen when you truly dig in and reach out and make the connections. So I bring this up because when I first started, I talked to everybody. And guys, when you hear me speak, and I know that a lot of you have before, right? I, I'm like passionate like this, like this much passionate, not much. And I don't have that much passion, but um, you cannot hear or feel passion behind a text message or a Facebook post. You just can't. I want you to understand that. I built my business so quickly because I made 10 phone calls every single day. Phone calls. Like I know I'm, it, I'm 41. I'm not 91. This is my house phone. I have a house phone. It's a wireless phone. They do still exist. You can get them at Best Buy. This is my actual house phone. I have a land line. This is how I built my business. I legitimately called 10 people a day, but here's what happened. I didn't stop at 10. I called 10 people a day and I didn't stop calling people until at least five people gave me an answer. Yes or no, maybe wasn't an answer. I kept going. There were days that I would make 10 calls and I'd get five answers. There were days I made five calls and got five answers, but my commitment to myself was 10. There were days that I made 20 calls to get five answers. 
And you're probably thinking, who are these people? I don't know that many people. Neither did I. That's where events come in. When I first started, I was doing events like a mad woman. I would do at least three to five vendor events a month. That would give me anywhere from 20 to 50 leads a month from doing vendor events. And why, can I tell you that three of my frontline, my three frontline POB qualifiers getting to NMD were vendors at vendor events that I, that I went to. I pulled them from another company. Yeah, that's not how good I am. That's how good I am at following up and showing them an opportunity that their company didn't have. Three of my frontline were strangers at vendors events and they're like three of my best friends to this day. So, but why did that happen? Why did I build so quickly doing that? Because I was face-to-face, -face, because I was in person, because I was, I was sharing this passion that you hear and feel right now. I was sharing this with 30 to 50 people on the phone all month long. I was in front of people every single week in some capacity. So what has happened is this, COVID. COVID happened and then what, what, what did that look like for our business? Everything started to look like this. Everything started to look virtual. Things became a lot less personal. Things became a lot less engaging, right? We have the world's best community, but 90% of my new team members have never even seen it. They don't even understand what we are all about yet because we haven't had the chance to. This call tonight is about getting back to basics and basics, my friends, is getting in front of people. I am not telling you not to build your business online. I'm not telling you not to post and share and put all the things out there. I am. Do not be a walking advertisement, but do, your, do the best you can to share with passion and purpose every single day on your social platforms. But the way that you're going to take your business to the next level is by using the power of your voice, by locking into events again, getting in front of people, doing vendor events, because they're all happening again, bringing people into your homes to do events again. Because right now what people are looking for is connection. People are truly looking for connection. And we have an opportunity to give that to them. We have an opportunity to share health and hope. We share health with the power of our product and we share hope with the opportunity that our business can give any person. But we can't just do that socially anymore. Our world is looking for us to get face-to-face -face again. There is a both and. It doesn't have to be this or that. We can do the social stuff. But man, it is time we get back face-to-face -face again too. It is time we get back to doing the things that maybe built your business in the first place. And for me, it's back to 10 conversations a day until I get five answers. Do you know how many people I spoke to today? 14. I got five answers. Two said yes to the product. One is a maybe for the business. I am doubling down on the business right now. So the two that said yes to the product, I didn't actually talk to them about the product. I talked to them about the business. But do you know what the backup was? They said yes to the product. They wanted to start it first. See how that works? Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you fall among the stars. So I start with the business. I start with the opportunity, right? I start with telling them all that this could be for them. And they say, that sounds incredible. I don't know if I'm ready for that. I'd love to get started on the product to see if this is right for me. Started with the business and they said yes to the product. That works. So of my 14, I had 14, hold on, 14. Of my 14 conversation, 14 calls today, of my five answers, three were no. <laughs> One was they're going to join me on an event tomorrow night to learn about the business. So that's, that's a yes, right? That's a yes to moving forward in our relationship. That's a yes to moving forward in the progress that I'm trying to make so they can see what we're up to. And the other two said yes to the product. Those are my answers. And understand that, you know, I heard this. It was Ashley Hudson, actually. I, when I first, I wasn't even an NMD yet. 
and I was speaking in Virginia and Ashley Hudson was on stage talking about her customer. She has like 1.7 million customers. That's dramatic, but she's got a lot of customers. Okay. Um, a lot. And someone like rose, their, raised their hand at the event and they said, how do you have all those customers? And she said, it's because I've heard way more no's than you. And I'm not afraid of a no. And that is the truth. Listen, if you've heard that before, I'm sure that you have, it's okay. You need to hear it a lot. A no is not a no forever. It's just a no for now. That's it. So I think one of the best things that if you heard anything that I said tonight, one of the most important things that you can think about or that you can focus on is getting back to basics, using the power of your voice, hosting and getting in front of people again, having events. These are the things that are going to get us from where we are to where we want to be, because those are the action steps that are going to build this thing. If you don't want to get a landline, you don't have to. It's okay. <laughs> but that is truly what works, what worked for me. So I'm getting back to doing the things that got me here in the first place. So one of the things, one of the questions I get a lot of is, well, where do you find these events? Like these vendor events? What does that look like? Honestly, it's super simple. I Google vendor events near me. <laughs> and then all these things pop up or vendor events in your state or whatever that looks like, right? So definitely Google search where you can find events that are local to you. Call your library, call your schools. There are so many things, gyms. Do you know that gyms, You every single gym on Long Island, I don't know about where you live, but every single gym on Long Island has started again, a monthly, it's for free. They do a monthly open house where you can go and set your things up and you talk to people as they walk through the door. They do that for free. Every LA fitness from when I started, that was one of my like monthly things. I was there every single month. I signed, I can't tell you how many team members from LA Fitness when I first started with the Juice Plus Company. So that's just an example, right? Libraries, um, gyms, I mean, uh, preschools, like so many schools, anywhere there, there's day camps. There's just so many opportunities for us to get in front of people, Google it talk to people, call around and see where you can maybe get in front of people. That's one of the things that I recommend for sure. The other thing is this, our company is starting to host a lot more regionals and boot camps, and all of these things are happening again. When I said yes to this business, I kid you not, I went to, hold on. Okay. Sorry. She has a toy. I thought it was I thought it was my son's hat. Um, when I uh, when I said yes to this business, one of the other things that I did was that I I built my belief pretty pretty strong from the from the get go. Belief building is everything. It's not something. It's everything. And how I built my belief so 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 strong was I was at a regional or a boot camp every few months. I literally traveled the country to be fed into by some of the most incredible minds that our company and our world has seen. And it's that kind of belief building. It's that kind of constant uh, reassurance of what we are doing and where we are is exactly where we need to be. So go into your Juice Plus virtual office and look for where there are events. Tons and tons and tons of events are popping up. Dig into them. Bring a, a, like a squad of people with you to go be inspired too. But then this is where, this is how I'm going to close this up and wrap this up for you guys today. Inspiration is fantastic. Being inspired is just an incredible thing to feel. Being inspired makes you think bigger, helps you cast a bigger vision for yourself, for what you want. But being inspired can take up a lot of headspace if you don't put it to work for your business if you don't put it to work for your life. Inspiration without action is just inspiration. And nobody builds an empire just by being inspired. They build an empire by being inspired and moving to greater action. And that greater action tonight, I hope that you can dig into some of the things that I said is getting back to basics, getting back to doing the things that we know can truly change the course 
our business forever. We just have to decide that this is what we want and we have to choose to move to action today because tomorrow will look different from today if you choose it to, if you choose it to. Otherwise, nothing's gonna change. So you get to choose how you go to sleep tonight and how you wake up tomorrow. And my recommendation is that tonight, before you put your head on that pillow, you write out your list of 10 names that you're gonna call tomorrow. So that tomorrow when you wake up and when you have your blocked out time, that you are not gonna sit behind your computer and say, okay, what do I do? No, you have a plan. You have 10 people to call and you're not gonna stop until you get five answers. I believe in you. And I also believe that we are all one decision away from breakthrough in our business and in our life. It is a choice. And I so, 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 so hope that you choose to move to greater action. Thanks guys so much. I told you you'd want to be on this call. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, how amazing. Stacey, you are incredible. I just want to thank you so much for all of this. The nuggets, right? The nuggets that matter. And I want to say too, I'm 42 and I have a landline. <laughs> and the reason I have a landline is because I was calling when I started this business from home, I was using my phone so much that it would die on me. And it was helpful to have two because when one would die, I'd go to the other one. So there's something to be said about that. Um, Stacy, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Is there anybody that has any questions? You want to just take one or two? Yeah, I'm, um, I'm, I'm up. I'm all fired up. I'm not going to bed. <laughs> it's only 930 where she is, but it's all good. I'm good. <laughs> she stayed up late for us, you guys. Um, are there any questions that anybody wants to hop in here and ask? I know, um, I'm sure there's at least one before I jump in here. Just unmute yourself. They're all like, I'm writing my names down. Hey, hey go I, for it. I, so this is, this is not really a question for me because I know the answer to this question. But for some, some people on here that may be new and that may think, uh, nobody picks up the phone when mm -hmm. I call. Sure. Could you share what the next option would be, Stacey? Absolutely. Um, <laughs> don't give up is what I'm gonna tell you. Um, so this is what I usually do. If I call and someone does not answer, I leave a message. Hey, I'm gonna, I'll just, as an example, like one of the messages I left today, I said, hey girl, it's Stacy. I hope all is well. I was missing you and I wanted to connect. Give me a shout when you get the chance. That was it, okay? Then this is like an immediate after, I text her. Hey lady, I just wanted to let you know, I left you a quick voicemail. I would love to connect as soon as you get the chance. Let me know when you're free. I want her to hear my voice. And then I sent her a message letting her know that she's gonna hear my voice, right? So then I give it a few days. Usually within about three days, I message, I'll, I'll, I'll text again. Hey lady, I know you're so busy. I just would love to connect. Let me know when you're free, right? A lot of times I just, I keep it very casual. If by day five, I haven't heard, I actually call again and leave another message. And then I pull back. At that point, I'll pull back after day five, if I've heard nothing. So I have this thing, I call it, um, I call it my success flow chart. So I like it, visualize this. It's your memory jogger, your, your hot hands list and your success list. And this flow chart, think about what a flow chart does. It goes forwards and it goes backwards. So yes, I still have a memory jogger and it actually is on paper in a notebook and I use a pen. I know I'm 41, not 91, but it's not like a pen. You have to like dip an in ink with a feather on it. It's like an actual pen. It's fine. Um, so we, I have my memory jogger and my hot hands list are my 10 people. And the reason I, I, I label everything. So hot hands is this, like if I touch something and it's hot, I'm gonna move. So your hot hands list is 10 people and your goal is to move them to action. So your goal is to move them forward in your progress and your relationship. Your goal is to move them to an action, right? Yes to an event, yes to the product, yes to the business, yes to jumping on a three-way call. So here's what happens. Say I have 10 people on my hot hands list. Two people say yes. Well, I move them to my success list. So now of those 10 people, I've got two more slots. So I go to my memory jogger. I pull two more people over. So I have a rolling list of 10 people on my hot hands list. 
But now here's what happens. Say that person today that I called, if after five days, I don't hear from her, I put her back on my memory jogger and pull somebody else over. So it's just this flow chart of like, you are never coming off a list. You're going to be on a list in some capacity forever. Your success list is when they say yes to the product or business and your memory jogger, people are going to go back and forth depending on where they are. Maybe someone's not ready. No big deal. I put them back to my memory jogger, right? So it's just a, it's just this flow chart of activity that is ever changing. It is consistent. It, it doesn't have to stop. So no one's ever coming off my list. So ultimately that's what happens. So after five days, so I leave a voicemail and then text in the same day. If I don't hear I, three days later, I send a text. If I don't hear day five, I actually call and leave another message. And then I pull back. And then I, I put them to my success, uh, my, my back to my memory jogger. And then I just pull someone else. Um, and that's how, that's kind of the cadence that I use. I've been using that system since 2015. <laughs> that's when I came up with it. And I literally use it like clockwork all the time. And I'll tell you this too. It's so funny because even when I'm in like a busy season or you know, there's so many seasons, right? Like where our business just, you know, it does a lot of crazy where I'm part of that too, right? Like just because I'm sitting here speaking to you doesn't mean a, I don't work as hard as you do. I promise I do. And B, it also doesn't mean that I haven't have, I haven't had ebbs and flows in my business because I've had, but the one thing that's been consistent is this, is this flow chart for myself. It's the one thing that I can control. So if I do nothing else, in a week and I've contacted my 10 people, you know, then I know I've done something of priority to move my business forward. So even through the busiest of times, this is the simplest form of action that I can do for my business. It's really easy to do and it keeps me on track. So good. So good. So good. I'm hearing all these messages. I'm watching them all come through here. And I just want to, again, like this is systems are everything in your business, right? So it's like when you wake up knowing what you're going to do that day, you're already 90% towards success. Like it's just, it's just different than waking up and figuring it out. Right. Cause everything gets in the way. So I love this, Stacey. Thank you so, so very much. Um, you guys, I just want to thank you for hopping on. I know we stayed a little bit late, but I think it was absolutely worth it. <laughs> Based oh, on the sorry, comments and everybody's much. shaking their head. They're so grateful for this. This is such a gift, Stacey. I really thank you so much. We also, there's a take healthy back call tonight. It's a men's call that's happening at 7 p.m. Pacific. So make sure if you're coming onto that, you're coming back at 7 p.m. with the same password. Um, can we just all unmute and just tell Stacy thank you? Because this was such a gift and I'm so grateful and what a great time than right now, right? So if you guys can unmute and just say, okay. thank you, Stacy. Thank, 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 so thank, so thank you so much. Thank you, Stacey. Thank you. Thank you. Love you, Energy. So wonderful. So wonderful. Awesome. Thank all you. All right, guys. Have a great night, Stacy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We okay. love you so thank much. You.